Greece hides many dangers. A land shaped by the gods, but shattered from within. Blood soaks the fabric of our society, and Hades has grown full. A world of danger lies in your path. Armies gather on the battlefields. Squalls swirl on hostile waters. And snakes lie in the darkness. If you fail, Greece is lost. So are you ready now? The days of heroes are over. Shay was an assassin. <laughs> Admit it. I nearly had you. He was a friend. A brother. What did I miss? Only the first hour of training. A pity. The boy has so much potential but so little discipline. I have tracked the Templar as far as his coast, but I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. You made me slaughter innocents! I will not let this happen again! And now the man I once called brother is coming to hunt us all. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Traitor! Achilles will see you dead! You will fail! I will kill every last man who defends him if I must. And what is it you're doing exactly? Stealing from your brothers. Betraying me. We don't have the right to decide that future. The right? We have the responsibility! You've betrayed everyone you knew. Decided with our worst enemies. And for what? Someone must make amends. Assassin's Creed Rogue. I am a Magi, protector of Egypt. My land is on the brink of collapse. To defend it, I must become an instrument of justice and freedom. You are my Magi now, protector of the true Pharaoh of Egypt. Gods have abandoned us. Be careful. Not everything is as it seems. Bayek, your people are in danger. There is a new creed now. From darkness we have come, and in darkness we shall stay. Magi no longer. We shall be known as assassins. Assassin's Creed Origins. Ah, ah. Napoleon. You certainly don't look like a blood crazed revolutionary. The hood is a bit sinister, though, if you don't mind my saying. It is sometimes hard to remember how easy life was before the world changed. 
Now people are starving in the streets, and those with the will to fight back are imprisoned, or worse. Where am I? In hell. We shall yield to nothing but bayonets! The life I had is gone. Your father was an assassin, Arno. The world I knew with it. Father? He gave his life fighting for the liberty of all mankind. Are you prepared to travel the Eagle's path? Boys ready. Rise. Assassin. Amongst the violence. The vote is cast, Grandmaster. The king will die. Amongst the chaos. Honor your father's memory. I will find justice no matter the cost. This is why I joined the Brotherhood. For revenge. For redemption. Monsieur Maximilien de Robespierre. I will never talk. Marquis de Sade. You used me. We used one another. You're the only one who can save the Brotherhood? We can, together. It happens tonight. Please. You want to protect me? I want to help you. Nicely done, my friend. If you don't have the stomach for revenge, then I don't need your help. If we've been betrayed from within, <gasps> conspiracy, intrigue, I have to do this myself. I'll give you Blackbeard's honest opinion. You ask me, can this new captain promise you a life of prizes, plunder, and adventure? Aye. For amongst all the gentlemen of fortune sailing these West Indies, he ranks amongst the most clever. There was a time when I thought myself the deadliest scourge of these seas. <laughs> but this man is a fearsome dog that feeds off trouble and turmoil. I seen him clear the deck of a Spanish galleon like it were nothing. Fighting like a devil, dressed as a man. And he's a canny one. Knows his way round every crag and crevice of these islands. So if his fortune and adventure you seek, and Captain Edward Kenway's your man. Only, don't meddle in his private affairs. For there's more mystery to that man than even I dare ask. I have known true freedom. I have known a world of peace and remarkable spirit. A world which was taken from me. Um, I was told you could train me. Welcome to the Assassins. Kanandoko, is the village all right? Men came. They forced us to leave. You must refuse. Let me tell you something, Kala. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. In your haste to save the world, take care you don't destroy it. I realize now that it will take time, that the road is long and shrouded in darkness. 
It is a road that will not always take me where I wish to go. But I will travel down it nonetheless. Those men you sought to save have turned their backs on you. Yet you fight. You resist. Why? Because no one else will. When I started this fight, I did not think it would span a lifetime. But I soon discovered it would span many more. Welcome to Constantinia, Ezio, the crossroads of the world. The truth sought by the assassins who came before me is still hidden. And their enemies still breathe. So my quest continues. Who are you, Messere? Do you work for the church? <laughs> Not the church, no. I cannot rest until all has been revealed and my mentor's secrets are laid bare. Fate may command I die before the answers are discovered. But an assassin takes orders from no one. None of you leave until the assassin is dead! You intrigue me, Wolfkist. Orphan and sibling, warrior and poet. You are many in one, it seems. Eivor! Sigurd! <laughs> I missed you, brother. Ramthi, your husband returns, bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. We cannot stay in Norway, not without fueling more war. So we push forward. A new kingdom awaits. From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England. This land already has many rulers. From the cunning King Alfred of Wessex to the warmongering sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, they have no wish to share the kingdoms they have made their own. I do not fear these men, nor any others who would harm us. These lands bring our people hope. I will do whatever it takes to make England our home. The Saxons hunger for Norse blood. Let's give them a taste, brothers. These conquests have given you a home, but there is more to this land, Eivor. A darkness unseen, an unknowable threat. One bound to England's destiny.
Lucio Auditor. Brave of you to stand alone against me, but also quite foolish. Assassin. I've dealt with you, I promise I'll give her my full attention.
Mr. Starrick. I told you not to disturb me! What have we here? Crawford Starrick's full organization. Seven henchmen, each controlling the pillars of London society. Rupert Ferris regulates the industries with a steel rod and an iron fist. Shut his trap and get the machine fixed! Pearl Attaway owns all transportation in London, the ebb and flow of the city's traffic at her fingertips. David Brewster and Dr. Elliotson push science and medicine to their very limits. Unfortunately, it appears I've ruined the organ. With terrifying results. Philip Tupany and James Rudinell cripple the masses to grow their fortunes. And finally, Maxwell Roth, London's criminal mastermind. So what's the plan? To free future generations from a city ruled by Templars. Then shall we? Yes. Look at what Starrick has done to the city. We will free London from Starrick. We take over Starrick's gangs, we cripple his control. We welcome all who would stand up to Starrick and his cutthroats. As of this moment, you all work for us. I'm here to see Mr. Roth. Weapons? No, thank you. I've got my own. The aura of death surrounds thee both. Mr. Sterrick sent his regard! They are a child who believes they can solve all the world's woes with a flick of a blade. We're not playing games anymore, Roth! What did you accomplish, boy? You will not stop, Staric. Our city will die. Once more for all time's sake. And then we're finished. Agreed. Have fun. <laughs> Don't die. Well, we seem to have made an unscheduled stop.